How's it going guys? Josh here, AKA Olufemi. I'm here in beautiful Brisbane, Australia. Been here for about a week. I'm gonna be here for about another week before flying back home to LA. And I wanna leave you with just a simple tip that I've been using for a while. Um, I actually filmed it a few weeks ago back in LA before I even started traveling. Um, so tell me what you think. How's it going guys? Josh here, AKA Olufemi. Short video, I promise. This video has to do with a quick trick regarding managing downloaded files from the internet. Now when I'm editing tutorials, I'm often dealing with a bunch of downloaded media sourced from different areas of the internet, whether it be downloaded music from premiumbeat.com, shameless plug, videos ripped from YouTube, or just pictures from Google Images. If I were to just use my default browser settings, all those downloaded files would just be dumped into my downloads folder. Instead of being organized in my project folder, on my external drive. So then I'd have to manually cut, paste, and sort each piece of media from the downloads folder into their respective project file folders. So here's the easy fix. First, make sure you're using Google Chrome. That's the only browser worth using. Click on the three dots in the upper right-hand corner, click settings, then click advanced. Scroll down to downloads, and now you have two options. Either set a default download location or have it ask you a new download location each time you have a new download. I'll use the former when I know for a fact that I'll say be just downloading music files for a significant amount of time. I just the default download location to be the project's music folder. Any other time, I just use the latter option and choose the download location every single time. Regardless, both options allow me to avoid having to deal with having to take files and organize them out of the downloads folder and put them onto my external drive where all my project file folders are. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and as always, keep it chill. Add your name and place of residence to my latest Instagram post, and I promise to give your Instagram page a little peek. Thanks for watching.